Welcome back. Those were the main headlines and more details. President Fatah Hazisi met on Saturday with Minister of Justice Omar Marwana to follow up on the ministry's efforts regarding the preparation of draft personal status law. In this regard, presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Radi said the president gave his directives to form a committee of legal and judicial experts specialized in family cases and courts to prepare the draft in a way that guarantees the rights of all concerned parties. Marwan reviewed the ministry's ongoing efforts to develop the litigation system related to the Egyptian family in order to achieve the desired stability in society and preserve the rights of all family members. The ministry also presented the judiciary efforts to achieve prompt justice by dealing with a huge number of cases brought daily before the Egyptian courts in all their forms. On the sidelines of participating in the annual meeting of the Islamic Development Bank, which concluded its activities in Sharm el-Sheikh, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Medbouli made an inspection tour to St. Catherine City, starting with following up on the development works at St. Catherine's Airport. Madhuri also said that his visit to St. Catherine aims to follow up on the executive position of the Great Transfiguration on the Land of Peace project as per President Abdel Fattah Hassisi directives to develop the city to place it in the position that it deserves and maximize benefits from its tourist potentials. While meeting a number of Bedouin tribes, Madhuri said that the priority for work will be for the local population for the part. The Bedouin tribe is extended thanks to President Abdel Fattah Hassisi and the government for implementing such an important project. Minister of Defense Lieutenant General Mohammed Zaki inspected on Saturday one of the main arsenal workshops affiliated to the Weapons and Ammunition Department. The minister praised the efforts exerted by the troops to boost the technical and combat capabilities and to cope with the global scientific development in this field. Zaki inspected different sections of the workshop which follow the most recent technical security methods and he also opened the Center for Developing Small Weapons which is equipped with the most recent technologies. The general commander of the armed forces was accompanied by Army Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Osama Oscar and a number of high-ranking military commanders. Egyptian and Saudi Arabian navies concluded their joint naval drills, Red Waves 5, at the Saudi Arabian territorial waters in the Red Sea. The drills, which was joined by Jordan, Djibouti, Sudan and Yemen lasted for several days. The maneuvers activities included the clearance of fortified sites, intrusion and live fire shooting in support of combat aircraft and helicopters to carry out tactical tasks aiming to achieve the joint task principle. The final phase of the drills was attended by commander of the Egyptian Navy Rear Admiral Ashraf Atwa and his Saudi counterpart Rear Admiral Yahya bin Mohammed Al Asiri as well as a number of top commanders. The United Nations denounced an attack targeting peacekeeping forces in Mali that killed two Egyptian peacekeepers and injured others in the second attack targeting UN peacekeepers in Mali in three days, describing it as a coward attack. The UN spokesman Stephanie Dujarek said the action is the sixth attack targeting the UN mission since the 22nd of May. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed his wish of speed recovery, speedy recovery for the injured personnel.